Dear viewers, Drishti IS welcomes you to the new series of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is microplastic pollution. First of all, let's see why is it in the news. Recently, a UN Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals report highlighted plastic pollution poses a threat to migratory species that dwell on land and in freshwater habitats, especially in the Asia Pacific region. As per the report, pollution from plastics increases the vulnerability of already endangered species such as Gangetic and Irrawaddy dolphins. Asian elephants and black-footed albatrosses. The report focused for the first time on the impacts of plastic pollution on animals, birds and aquatic beings in the Asia-Pacific region. The study focused on the Ganges and Mekong river basins, which together contribute an estimated 200,000 tons of plastic pollution to the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean every year. Now let's understand what is microplastic pollution. Microplastics are plastics that are less than 5 mm in size but are a major source of marine pollution. It includes microbeads, solid plastic particles of less than 1 mm in their largest dimension that are used in cosmetics and personal care products, industrial scrubbers which are used for aggressive blast cleaning. Microfibers used in textiles and virgin resin pellets used in plastic manufacturing processes. Three types of plastics are seen specifically in microplastic pollution. Polyethylene, polystyrene and polypropylene. Sources of microplastic are untreated sewage from many cities along the river's course, industrial waste and religious offerings wrapped in non-degradable plastic spile pollutants into the river as it flows through several densely populated cities. The plastic products and waste materials released or dumped in the river break down and are eventually broken down into microparticles. The rivers finally transport significantly large quantities downstream into the ocean, which is the ultimate sink of all plastics being used by humans. Now shifting towards the impacts, microplastics damage aquatic creatures including turtles and birds. It blocks digestive tracts and alters feeding behavior. Subsequently, it reduces the growth and reproductive output in marine animals. Now let's understand the measures to control the microplastic pollution. To reduce microplastic pollution, attention has to be paid to reduce, reuse and recycle. The government has recently issued Plastic Waste Management Rules 2021 to control single-use plastic. In 2019, India and Norway decided to set up the India-Norway Ocean Dialogue and together launched the Marine Pollution Initiative. Now moving on to the question for today, consider the following statements regarding microplastics. 1. Microplastics are plastics that are less than 5 mm in size but are a major source of marine pollution. 2. Microplastics are present in cosmetics, synthetic clothing, plastic bags and bottles. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? A. 1 only, B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2 or D. Neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Trishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.